my name is Alisson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for theendinghero.com and this video comes to answer a question that came from Jim. Jim, I don't know your last name so you just know that it's from Jim. Jim asked how can we uh, add more paints to a .NET look skin and more specifically he was asking uh, how could we add a new paint on the right side of the .NET Nook logo in the standard .NET Nook skin. So, so here's what we're gonna we're gonna do. Again, this this is not an extensive, an exhaustive uh, explanation about skins. This will only focus on how to create a skin, uh, how to create a paint in a .NET Nook skin. Now, first thing that we have to do is that is that we have to identify which skin is this one. To do this, the first thing that we have to do is log into the website. So let's log into the website so we can so we know which skin is this one. Okay, now once we're logged in, I'm the home page and I'm going to go to edit to see if there's any skin uh, mentioned there for this specific page. So let's scroll down, let's go to advanced settings, and let's have a look at page skin. So here's page skin, and it's using the host skin, uh, but it's using the, def the, the portal default. So to check what is the portal default skin, we have to go to admin, site settings. So first of all, we are just trying to identify which skin is this one, to make sure that we change the right file. So uh, expand uh, appearance, and then we see here, Portal skin is a uh, minimal exropy index and it's in the host level. So now what we have to do is we have to go to the site files. Uh, we can do that by, by FTP if your site is uh, remote or in my, my case this is localhost. So I'm just going to go to the to Windows Explorer. And so here's my uh, site uh, root folder and then I'm going to go to portals and uh, default, we're going to go to the default folder because, uh, again, the skin is in a host level. So we, we go to default, and then there's a skins folder, and then, as you can see here, by the name of the skin, minimal exropy. Minimal exropy is the name of the folder, so here's the folder, and we are looking for the index.as, ASCX file. So here's the file that we have to change to make sure that we can place and I'm just going to go back to the site here, now that we have identified the, the skin file. It's going to go to home. And I'm going to check the layout of this page. Just to make sure that there's no uh, pane here on the right side. So, yeah, see the only panes that we have here, top pane. So, only panes in the, in the body of the page, I would say. So, let's try to add an extra pane here on the right side of the logo the .NET look, uh, of the .NET look logo. So let's go back to the site files and let's open the index.ascx. So here we have the uh, index.ascx open and then to identify exactly the place that uh, we want to create the new pane which is uh, on the right side of the logo, we can try to find the uh, .NET look logo tag here, the, the site logo. See? Right here we have the, the DNN logo tag, which is being replaced by the uh, the logo for the site. Now there are many ways to see this cat here. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not gonna go into uh, HTML details here because if you want to change this, one of the requisites uh, you need to know a little bit of HTML. I mean, you, you should not come here and mess around with those ASX uh, files if you have no idea about HTML. So you have to have some idea about HTML. So from here, to be very simple, uh, the, the place that we can define panes are basically, as far as I know, are basically two different uh, tags. We can define them inside uh, div tags. Um, and I'm defining one right now. And then we have to define some uh, some properties of this tag, like uh, the we have to define the ID of the div tag, and we have to to set a property called the run at equals to server. So with this definition, ID the name of the pane and run at equals to server, 
this will define a pane. Um, now, let's just save this. And let's go back to the site. So here's the site. We have saved. Now, if I just click refresh, we should have a new pane here in the top area called um, topmost pane. Um, again, I just I can give any name that I want here, any name, as long as it doesn't conflict with an existing pane name. Now, if we're gonna go back here, and if we if we check on the pane uh, drop down, we're gonna see that topmost pane is also here, so we can easily now add extra modules like a banner or an HTML module to the right side of the um, of the logo of the site. Okay, so just going back here, I just want to mention one last thing. So you can create panes uh, based on div on div tags, or you can also create panes, and I can show an example based on on TD tags. So if you have a table, and in this case, those panes here, top pane, left pane, content pane, right pane, they are based in the table. So you can also create panes based on um, TD tags. So as you can see, we have a TD tag here, and we have an ID for the TD, and the property run at equals to server. So this will also turn this TD uh, tag, this this table cell tag, as uh, as a as a possible pain for this skin. So again, this is the way you can create uh, additional panes to your skin, either to the default.net Nook skin or to any other skin. Again, uh, a requirement to to play around with ASCX files is to know HTML. If you don't know, don't try that because if you do something that uh, you very easily you can do something that will break the skin. Okay, so thank you very much. Bye.